Hey, today I want to talk to you about a couple things. First, I made this beautiful mobile app all by myself and I'm gonna show you how I did it. Not a full case study, just a very brief overview. Then we're gonna talk why my courses are going free and what is the next course that goes free and when it happens and some updates about the channel as a whole. And while we're talking about my mobile app, I will tell you about something that I've noticed that is probably the biggest shift in years in how design happens because I'm barely using any design tools anymore. And you know that I'm not a fan of Figma, that I always used Sketch, and I still used Sketch for my app, but not as much as I would have used it years ago because the large part of the design of my app was actually done on paper. And then I coded it straight away. I already talked about paper design, why it matters and why I do coloring. It's pretty important, but it's not really what you probably think. There is a video linked in the description that goes on about using paper. But the thing is, if you have the imagination to translate a paper sketch like this into mobile app screens, write in code and then modify that code just using little sub pixel offsets to make it extremely beautiful, to make it yours, to make it refined beyond what was possible before and it's possible now. Yeah, I think we're in the time where designers can kind of truly push the envelope farther than it has ever been before and I'm super excited for it. My app is completely free. No subscription, no email sign up. You just use it privately. You don't have to pay anything, no subscription, no fees, nothing. And the idea is that there are multiple longevity protocols like taking some supplements or going to the sauna or taking an ice bath. And all of those protocols are constantly changing and evolving. So I used to think that a sauna of 110 degrees Celsius was a good thing. And then a newer study came out saying that 88 to 98 degrees is actually the most beneficial and above 98 you might see some negative effects. So because everything changes and even recommendations on how much vitamin C you should take changes as well, then how do you keep track of all that? So I made this app with beautiful cards where you swipe the cards of protocols that you use yourself into a beautiful personal deck. And then every two weeks, a special AI agent that I created myself as well, parses through all the scientific studies and all the podcasts from longevity experts like Huberman, Brian Johnson and others. It sifts through all that data and updates the cards automatically. So if you have your own stack of your own protocols, and by the way, my own stack is 46 different things. There is a link to what I do and how I use it as a web preview in the description of this video as well. So to keep track of 46 different things would be insane. And now it happens automatically. So if anything changes, if there are new recommendations, new better approaches to something, I will know. The app is doing really well and it's not even done. I'm already working on new features, but in the first 24 hours, 1500 people downloaded it. So thank you. If you got the app already and you liked it, make sure to go to the App Store page of the app and leave that five star rating and leave a nice comment. I really appreciate it. I didn't put in that annoying pop-up that forces you to leave the rating and comment in the app because I respect you. We're gonna talk about the courses now, but before we do that, I'm gonna show you what imagination of a designer can spark nowadays with those new tools that allow you to code and then manually tweak and adjust stuff. So I'm making another app, an Apple Watch app for people who do ice baths and cold swimming, and it's called Polar Duck. This is the icon and basically I can't really show you much more of the app except of one little thing. I made this little useless feature at the top of the screen so the little duck from the logo simply flows in the water left or right depending on how you tilt your phone. This is making me excited about design again. This is why I'm so into this. This has brought back the love of design where I can just imagine things and then just will them into existence. Okay, let's talk courses. I promised that 
most of my courses, like 90% plus, will be free in 2025 and it already started two of the courses are already out there on this youtube channel you can watch all eight hours of videos right there the only courses that are not going free are the boring ui course the web design courses and all of those four courses will be getting a price increase pretty soon like within the next week so if you plan to get them it's best to do it now and the square black blueprint obviously but all my portfolio courses case study courses don't be boring courses and many other ones including the introduction to soft skills in the time of ai will be going free this year this is my continuous effort for more and more people to just get better at design and i'm already hearing that those free courses that i already uploaded has helped a lot of people. So yeah, that's the whole point. And those who paid for those courses simply got all that knowledge four years in advance, which is worth the money. And the future of this channel is going to slightly change. Yes, I will be uploading those free courses, so there will still be education here. But now I'm more inclined into doing things, building products myself. So I will be doing a lot more case studies of my own apps and then case studies of client projects. So if you're interested in that, stick around. There's gonna be a lot of fun stuff going on. I don't believe I have energy in me anymore to do tutorials. And I don't even think that it matters anymore. I told you at the beginning of this video that I didn't even use my own favorite design tool as much in the process of making my app because I went from paper almost straight to the code. And yes, I did use Sketch for the app icon and for some initial drafts and mockups, but I'm barely using design tools and tutorials are kind of a waste of time. It's all about your imagination and then firing up that neuroplasticity that comes through doing stuff on paper and then changing modalities and doing coloring and all that. Just watch the other video about paper. I think it's worth it. So it's not gonna be a purely educational channel anymore. It's been a good run, but I believe that there are new, more exciting things for me to be shared on this channel. And I hope that you're gonna keep watching because your support over the years kept me going when the YouTube algo was being annoying and when I was doubting myself pretty much all the time it just kept me going kept me making that videos reaching that 100,000 subscribers first and then almost 200,000 now and I'm just really grateful so thank you for being here and I hope that you're gonna stay here and we're all gonna have a beautiful day